who in the room knows what this is? Not everybody will know it, I'm, I'm quite sure. These are all different types of computers. This is called case modding, the creative modification of computer cases. I'm a biologist, an artist, and a gamer. And when I bumped into this, I immediately saw the creative potential of this. These are basically small sculptures, but of course you can just take it to, different, to a different level. You could basically create larger structures like this, which are at the same time functional structures, at the same time artworks. So this specific subculture was basically the start of the project that I'm going to present today. It's not just about how these things look like. This scene is also kind of obsessed with speed. They want to build machines that are fast. And one of the things to make your machine, your computer machine fast is to overclock it, to make the processors run faster. The big disadvantage of doing this is that your machine overheats. So you need these elaborate systems to cool down your computer systems. And this is the basis of the project that I'm talking about today, which is called Biomod. This is the concept. Biomod is basically building a sculptural transparent computer system, quite large, and inserting a living ecosystem inside the computer that lives together with all these electronics. Basically, the ecosystem is using the waste heat, the access heat, to grow and develop. So it's like a symbiosis between two worlds that people usually think are clashing or are opposites. Of course, it doesn't make any sense to use a computer as an artwork and to just have it sit there in a the museum. You have to use it. So when I was designing this idea, when I was developing this idea, I came up with the idea to use this structure as a server for a multiplayer computer game, a multiplayer art game. So when people would visit the artwork, they would actually be able to sit down, log into the hybrid system, and play against other visitors. And by doing that, they would use the electronics, heat up the system, and, and boost the growth of the ecosystem. So social meeting gets translated through a sequence of events into biological growth and development. The first edition I did was at the Aesthetic Technologies Lab in Athens in Ohio. They invited me to do an artist residency and I suggested them, like, listen, I want to get started with this specific project. It's important to know when I'm talking about Biomod, it's not a solo project, and that's really another level of the project. The project has, contains many different levels because game culture, which has been a major source of inspiration for this project, is a very social culture. So a lot of people doing things together, and I imagined building this work as a group effort, a kind of co-created artwork. So what I did was, when I came, to, came over to Athens, Ohio, I did an open call, a little bit like this. I talked about the, the project and invited people to collaborate with me and to make this idea come through, to give it a specific shape. So I worked with a team of about 20 people for several months, trial and error, experimentation, discussions, to give this idea its, uh, its shape. And this was the result. On the left-hand side, you can see a man-sized system which contains an ecosystem of different plant species, a cluster of five recycled computers that are fully functional. And on the right-hand side, you can see people actually playing the computer game. This is a short video that gives you an impression of how it looks like. The algae that you can see over there on the right-hand side are interesting. They're cooling the processor of the server. They're like living coolant liquid. After Ohio, I moved to a different place, a totally different location in the world. I moved to the Philippines to build the second version of this project. Because, of course, when I'm talking about building a project like this with different groups of people, it's very interesting to see what would happen if you bring an idea like this to a completely different culture with a different background, different aesthetics. And one thing that st struck me was the social attitude of people in the Philippines that I worked with and their sense of community building. Different events were set up to sponsor the event, 
It was a very interesting uh, experience for me. And this is how the final piece in the Philippines looked like. Kind of similar to the American version, but uh, yet uh, quite different. Uh, the system contained a lot of wood, a lot of natural materials. We worked with traditional wood carvers. As you can see, there is this wood carved piece on top. And there was also a game that was specifically developed in the Philippines and inspired by local mythology that was inserted in the structure. Based on these experiences, the European Space Agency got interested in my work because the project, as I presented it now, it's like an enclosed ecosystem. It interfaces biology and technology and one of the research areas that's happening in space exploration right now is the development of ecosystems for outer space. Future moon colonies, spaceship to Mars, they will all contain ecosystems. And so right now, I've been invited to reflect on the possibilities of human life in space with ecosystems. So basically, my art took me from explorations in biology to cross-cultural dialogue and finally to outer space. Thank you. <laughs>